Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. The mysterious Dr. Vegabunk has always loomed in the shadow, but has now become a really important character to the story of One Piece, becoming a necessary part of the Straw Hats to be able to continue their adventure in search of the greatest treasure in the world. Currently, the Straw Hats are attempting to help him escape from Egghead Island, and after his help, Vegapunk will be able to offer resources for the Straw Hats to be able to continue on their journey, and possibly even helping them improve their ship. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the possibility of Vegapunk helping the Straw hats after everything happens in Egghead, what Vegapunk could offer as thanks, and how he might be able to improve the Thousand Sunny. But before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like and even subscribe and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out, especially with that old YouTube algorithm, and it motivates us to make more content. And if you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing this video or another one of your favorites with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So my friends, Dr. Vegapunk is an incredibly intelligent scientist. Being able to create Create several different inventions that are considered some of the most sophisticated and modern in the world of One Piece, and are often coveted by many other important people around the world. Right now, Dr. Vegapunk is being helped by the Straw Hats, and they're trying to figure out a way to get Vegapunk off of Egghead Island without the Navy or CP0 assassinating him or even destroying Vegapunk's big brain. You see, Vegapunk has spent his whole life trying to acquire all of the knowledge in the world, and his brain has become something quite colossal. And this means that Vegapunk needs to get off the island safely along with his brain so that he can then later share his knowledge with the rest of the world, which is ultimately his dream. But this request from Vegapunk is going to be something quite difficult to complete because Admiral Kizaru is on his way to Egghead Island to keep Vegapunk and the Straw Hats from escaping the island. On top of that, CP0 is already on the island, having four Seraphim under their command. At the moment, they have S-Bear, S-Snake, S-Hawk, and S-Shark, three extremely powerful robots that can even face off against more powerful enemies without suffering much damage, being extremely effective effective weapons for any type of mission. Now, we don't know exactly how the Straw Hats are going to manage to escape from Egghead Island, with so many enemies showing up, and there's still several events yet to happen in this arc. But it's undeniable that after this escape is complete, Vegapunk is going to help the Straw Hats in any possible way he can, even maybe improving their ship. This is something that Frankie has hinted at that could happen in the future. When they met and managed to acquire a certain trust between them, Frankie asked Vegapunk to take a look at the Frankie Shogun and the Thousand Sunny, being an indication that Frankie wants Vegapunk to improve his creations. He might be able to make the ship more durable, faster, or even enhance its arsenal of weapons, turning this straw hat ship into a kind of a Pluton 2.0, perhaps even managing to surpass the original Pluton created more than 800 years ago. Now, although this is something likely to happen, it's just not going to happen right now because first off, they don't have the time for it, much less the resources needed to complete any upgrades that need to be done. I mean, Sunny is quite large and would require a lot of resources to carry out any renovation they had in mind. In addition to that, improving the Thousand Sunny right now would probably be a waste of time. The Navy is surrounding the island with their ships and are preventing them from being able to leave the island by boat or any other means of transport that moves through the water. So because of the desperate situation they're in, Vegapunk might be thinking of a more dynamic and unpredictable way to get away from the island, possibly through the sky, because that's the only real viable way at this point, through one of Vegapunk's inventions that we haven't seen yet. But after the escape and obtaining the necessary resources, Vegapunk will be able to improve the Thousand Sunny and any other weapons that the Straw Hats use in the future, making the crew all the more powerful. Because Vegapunk isn't just a scientist, he's also a great builder and inventor, and also is able to improve various different kinds of equipment. I mean, during the past, he was able to create something on the order of a lightsaber, although it didn't turn out quite the way he intended. It didn't turn out to be a weapon that was capable of cutting enemies and going through anything like a mighty sword. Unfortunately, that's not how this lightsaber-like weapon ended up being. I mean, in fact, it turned out more like a glorified bug zapper. But with time and resources, there's no telling what he might be able to come up with considering the huge brain and depth of knowledge that Vegapunk has about all the different weapons that have existed around the world, perhaps even those that have existed since the Void Century. Just consider that Vegapunk has been able to create these giant mechanical sea monsters that have great destructive power, being very similar to a Sea King, although they're much more useful and possibly even more powerful. Also, they can be produced in large quantities, allowing to get a lot of work out of these various mechanical creatures. He was even able to create Vega Force 1, that huge large robot possessing incredible physical strength and the ability to fly around Egghead Island. Now, Vegapunk has based that large robot on something that was created during the Void Century and has been hidden on Egghead Island ever since it was discovered. Now, although the Vega Force 1 is not a perfect identical model to the robot that was created during the Void Century, it does have some greater utility while he's near Egghead Island because this location provides an environment where Vega Force 1 can fly. 
fly. And there's also no telling what other different kinds of weapons and utility tools that he's been able to invent. And we could probably spend all day just speculating and talking about any of them. But let's focus on the main subject. Being a scientist and a researcher, and also having a vast knowledge of creating different weapons and a great knowledge in robotics, it's quite possible that Vegapunk could further enhance Sunny and make it something that maybe even Frankie could have never dreamed of. With Vegapunk's knowledge and Frankie's own knowledge and extremely good skill, they would be able to further improve Sunny, adding weapons for duels at sea, and even strengthening the durability of the ship, making it even more resistant to any type of attack. There's even the possibility, with all the improvements that Vegapunk could make to Sunny, that she would become the most powerful ship in the world, using possibly even the blueprints of Pluton itself that Frankie has kept locked in his mind. And this way, they would actually be able to make the Thousand Sunny the ship truly worthy of the next Pirate King. On top of Sunny, as I mentioned before, Vegapunk would also be able to help Frankie improve the Frankie Shogun, an extremely useful and powerful robot that Frankie used during Wano. Through this robot, Frankie managed to offer a great amount of help to his companions in the invasion on Onigashima. This robot has great combat and support potential that could be further enhanced with the help of Vegapunk, putting the same functions that the Vega Force 1 has, possibly even the ability to fly. So as we can see, Vegapunk's going to be able to offer some great help to the Straw Hats to be able to pursue their goal of becoming the crew of the King of the Pirates, offering equipment and weapons so they can become even stronger. Now, it's obvious to see that Frankie will be one of the Straw Hats who can most benefit from Vegapunk's technology. I mean, practically all of his weapons and being are technological. He's a cyborg, after all, and all of the other things that he's installed on the ship. So Vegapunk might be able to improve Frankie's body just like he did to Kuma, increasing his durability, as well as adding new functions and weapons to his body to be able to use against powerful enemies. However, unlike Kuma, Frankie would still maintain his humanity as Vegapunk only perfects the robotic skill kit that Frankie already has in his body. Obviously, Vegapunk wouldn't do the same thing he did to Kuma to anyone else. In Kuma's case, it appears that they had something planned between the two of them with some ultimate goal in mind. Now, since Frankie doesn't want to become a robot completely, he's just going to want to get stronger as a cyborg to help support his teammates when needed. So he would just need to stay with the new equipment on his body. The other person that we could see on the crew that Vegapunk would be able to help out immensely would would be Usopp. Now, next to Frankie, Usopp is the next and possibly smartest person on the crew. After all, prior to Frankie joining the crew, it was Usopp who always patched up the crew or the ship and all of the different inventions that he's had with his pop greens. So Vegapunk might even be able to look at all of the things that Usopp has in his kit and enhance it all the further to help Usopp get all the closer to his goal of becoming a brave warrior of the sea right before we end up landing on Elbaf. So as we can see, Vegapunk is going to be of great importance to the Straw Hat moving forward, and possibly is going to be the character that it's going to offer them their last and final upgrade before they start hitting the really big confrontations that are bound to happen in this final saga of One Piece. But before any of that can happen, the Straw Hats are going to have to get Vegapunk off Egghead Island safely, a mission that is looking more and more difficult to complete, because very powerful enemies are assembling to keep this from happening. But again, Vegapunk might already have some kind of strategy in mind. He has one more ally hidden on the island, just waiting for Vegapunk to give the orders to that person so they can act. So these next several chapters, we're going to hopefully see who this mysterious person is and how they'll help the Straw Hats and Vegapunk escape the island. So for now, all we can do is wait for these next chapters of One Piece to know how this great confusion that's happening on Egghead Island will end up playing out. But with all that said, my friends, we'd now love to know what you think about it. How do you think the Straw Hats and Vegapunk will end up escaping off the island? There's been a little discussion around the community about perhaps going to the moon. I mean, we did see an L go there during a cover story, and we know that there is ancient technology up there. Does Vegapunk have an idea to go up there? Or is he got something else up his sleeve? Second, who do you think this mysterious, helpful character is on the island? Is it Stussy? Is it another member of Roger's crew that's been hiding out on the island? Or somebody even more surprising? Let us know what you think in the comments below. So as we wrap up today's video, we'd like to thank you so much for watching our video, especially those of you who've stayed with us here to the very end. Be sure you comment on any themes or ideas Ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like and hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. Hope to see you all in our next video. Let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.